but being friendly and being a friend, I think, are two different things. I think there are many whites who act friendly toward Negroes. A fox acts, acts friendly toward the lamb. Mm -hmm. And usually the fox is the one who ends up with the lamb chop on his plate. Mm -hmm. The wolf doesn't act friendly, and therefore the <coughs> wolf has more difficulty in getting the lamb chop in his plate. I, I say that because it is usually the, if you study the structure of the Negro community, mm -hmm. economically, politically, civically, psychologically, and otherwise, it's controlled by the white liberal, mm -hmm. who usually poses as the friend of the Negro, who actually differs from the white conservative in, in the same way that the fox differs from the wolf. Uh, their appetite is the same. Mm -hmm. Their motives are the same. It's only their mannerisms and, and methods that differ. Brother Malcolm was just speaking of the lamb's need to look out for itself. Family, welcome to Irvington Unbound, the official newsletter of the Sheridan Street Block Association. I'm Jay, your host, and as usual, I hope you and your family are happy, healthy, and loved. Let's get to work. In block news, the recent blizzard came and went, and let's give Mayor Voss, Director Holly, Vic, and the entire DPW a hand. The block was well attended to, and in that spirit, give yourselves a pat on the back. There was so much teamwork and people helping each other dig out and get their car moving that it's always good to see us doing for each other. In local news, due to the snow, we don't have the council agenda, nor did we attend the director's meeting. But former police chief Michael Chase is back on the scene, seeking salary reimbursement of roughly $37,000 stemming from a judgment leveled against the township by the State Civil Service Commission, who has ordered the payment. The township could be fined $100 a day up to hundred grand, and if Irvington doesn't pay that back, then they go back to court. Here's a recap of the situation. When Mayor Voss got in, they wanted a new police chief, but due to rules, they couldn't outright fire Mr. Chase. So they gave Director Powers' position the police chief Powers. Then, did I say Director Bowers? I hope it said Director Bowers. <laughs> they gave his position to police chief Powers, then voted to phase out the police chief position. So while not technically firing Mr. Chase, dot, dot, dot. A suspected sexual sailor accused of assaulting women here in Irvington around Grove and Nye has turned himself in, thank God. In other news being blatantly ripped off from the Irvington Herald, our black leadership is just now crafting a black agenda for the governor's race. But the question remains, what's the point? Everyone has kissed Phil Murphy's ring. That's actually a great segue to state news where Mr. Murphy has picked up the endorsement of New Jersey's Working Family Alliance. The county Dems are all behind him and you saw the video with Mayor Voss. I don't think you get more presumptive than Mr. Murphy at this point. <laughs> there have been good and terrible articles based around bail reform. Stats saying prison populations are down, which is good, and then you got law enforcement decrying crime is up, which is terrible. Here's the deal. Bill reform is the movement for right now. Christie's not budging on it, and we think it needs a chance to work itself out. So, you know, guys, be patient and be vigilant. In national news, Rachel Maddow released Trump's tax returns to the biggest, eh, ever collectively uttered. He paid $38 million, and he took in $150 million. Granted, it was for the single year of 2005, it still didn't have the impact that his opposition desired. Longtime NBC reporter Andrea Mitchell was removed from a press conference with the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson after questions about China's response to South Korea's deployment of anti missile defenses. And we're going to end this discussing Vault 7, which, if you didn't know, is the largest ever leak of CIA documents, and it contains the agency's activities by way of cyber warfare, you know, computers for the uninitiated. In the first release of what are sure to be many to come, Year Zero, we learned that the CIA recently lost control of the majority of the attacking arsenal. A U.S. consulate in Germany is a hacker base. The agency maintains a library of cyber attack techniques. There's a program called Weeping Angel that turns smart TVs into microphones. In 2014, the CIA started working on ways to remote control car computer systems, but one of the bigger concerns is the CIA finding vulnerabilities in software but not telling the companies which leaves American citizens vulnerable to hacks. 
Guys, that's about it. I would go on and trump care, but if it's not universal or at least single payer, then we have nothing to discuss. What do you think about cybersecurity? Let's talk in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I just now decided to start telling you guys to share these things. I don't know. <laughs> um, we're also in the business of e-bagging now because please show some love and donate to the Patreon link in the description. We started with Malcolm, and we're going to end with Huey, giving us another reason why we need to end the drug war. Until next time, love. The prison industrial complex is a system situated at the intersection of government and private interests. It uses prisons as a solution to social, political, and economic problems. It includes human rights violations, the death penalty, slave labor, policing, courts, the media, political prisoners, and the elimination of dissent. Nigga, did you just say what I was trying to say, but smarter?